Hello everyone, welcome back to Abdo channel. Today's video we are starting to know the details about how to integrate the Spring Boot application with Firebase database, which is a NoSQL database, which is a column oriented database. How to do the CRUD operations from our Spring Boot microservice application to Firebase database that we are going to cover in a couple of videos. In today's video, we will start with setup, how to set up our Firebase project and how to set up our Spring Boot project. That is the part one of this uh, video series. In the next video, uh, we will take up the, how to connect to the Firebase database from the Spring Boot application and how to do the, how to create the records into the collection, which we are going to create into the Firebase database. So this is the collection. Uh, this is the customer collection. This is similar to a table uh, in reference to your uh, RDBMS systems, right? In RDBMS system, we always deal with uh, tables and rows and col uh, rows and columns in a tabular format, right? In the NoSQL database, which is a, uh, Firebase, we have to uh, we will deal with the objects like this. So uh, we will directly be storing the JSON object and the corresponding data will be stored into the respective columns so uh, that is this is the collection uh, which we are going to use for all these four video series in the third video we will deal with the uh, different kinds of uh, fetch operations so we will see how to fetch all records from that uh, customer collection and how to fetch the records based on the search keyword if customer is giving a name based on that name also we can try to get the details from the customer collection that is the third part of the video in the final part and the fourth part we will deal with the update and delete operations uh, about the collection customer collection on the firebase database okay so that's all about the four parts which we are going to cover uh, as part of this video series so let me start with the first uh, part for today's topic that is set up uh, Firebase project and we then we will set up the Spring Boot project. So in order to set up the Firebase project, uh, let we have to go to the Firebase console. Okay, fire, we have to log in to the Firebase console. There uh, we have to create a. Okay, I'm logging in with my Gmail. Here we have to create a project. Okay, let me create a project. Spring Boot Firebase 100. Let me give it. Yeah, Spring Boot Firebase 100 is my Firebase project. I am going to accept everything. The analytics. Okay. Now I am going to create. Here I have selected a uh, account for the Google Analytics then i am creating a new project it will take few seconds uh, to create your firebase project let's wait for it to complete so uh, this is about uh, creating a firebase project it is just a dummy project we have created okay now let us go to the project console then we will see what all operations we can do it here see this is the these are the list of tools which we can use as part of our project okay so uh, if you want to go through that uh, we can go through the project details as well here okay this is the project overview we can go to the project settings see all the all these things uh, we can see it here we can also delete a project uh, we can create the service accounts. We have to create a service account as part of this uh, interaction integration with uh, Firebase from our Spring Boot application. That we will see it in a while. The service accounts we can create it here. Okay. If you want to integrate your Firebase project with any other any of these tools like Google Analytics, we already integrated, right? So it, it uh, any of these tools. If you want to integrate, we can integrate it from here. Okay, this is the project settings section. Now, uh, what we have to do is we have to go to the Firestore database. 
there are two kinds of databases in firebase uh, firestore and the real time databases so let us take the cloud firestore which is useful for real time updates real time uh, database is uh, mostly be used when you want to sync the data between the across the different clients so let us take uh, uh, this cloud firestore database i am going to create a database for it okay now i am not going to create it for production just for testing purpose i am going to create it now we have to select a location where you want this uh, database to be available we can select north america or any any other location asia asia southeast one two us west us east everything is there so i am going with the default one nam5 okay i'm going to enable it so this firestore database will be enabled uh, in this location now so it will take a couple of seconds to make the firestore database available for your project let's wait for it to complete Yep, yeah, it is all completed, right? So, Firestore database is created on River project. Here, if you want to create, we can create a collection. And collection is like a table as we discussed earlier, right? So, a table will be having the couple uh, rows and columns. So, once you create a collection, you can create a document. Document is like a row in your uh, RDBMS table. Okay, so. Uh, once when you create a document in a collection the document will act as a row into the in that uh, table or collection so let us not create anything from here okay we will create the collection and also the document from the spring boot uh, microservice application itself for now uh, we have created the database in the cloud firestore cloud firestore database we have created and that is attached to our application uh, to our project Spring Boot Fire, Firebase 100. Okay. Now, if you want to connect, if you want to connect to this uh, database from your application, from your clients, okay, then uh, we have to generate service accounts. Those service accounts uh, will be used in your client applications to connect to this uh, database. Okay. Here, if you go to the project settings and go to the service account section, here uh, we can create a service account okay if you see this uh, this is the code snippet which we have to use if you are connecting from java or spring boot applications okay uh, this is the service account json which we are going to generate on clicking of this button generate new private key okay that button uh, click will generate this file we have to put that file in our spring boot application and use that file and use this code to load that file and to connect to the firebase database that will be having all the database url and the secrets and passwords everything okay that json file so uh, we we will take this code later on okay while we create a connection okay now what i will do is i'll go ahead and uh, uh, generate the private key for our for my project Okay, your private key gives access to your project, so keep it confidential. Yeah. Now it has created a JSON file. Now we have to use this JSON file in your uh, microservice application. Okay. Now we are done with the first part of the today's video: set up Firebase project. We are all done with this step. Now we will go to this step: set up Spring Boot project okay now we'll see okay let me create a simple spring boot project here i'm going to give it firebase spring boot one okay firebase spring boot one 
Firebase Spring Boot example one. Com dot app dev dot. I'll give Firebase. This is the package. Okay. Now that's all. Yep. Here I'll add only the web dependency. Okay. I'll click on finish. Let me close all. Where is that? Yeah. Here it is. See, this is a simple uh, microservice project which is loaded with web dependency. Now, what I have to do is I have to go to the pom.xml. Here uh, we have we are going to use the Firebase uh, specific uh, uh, API classes. So in order to load those libraries, we have to add a dependency specific to that uh, Firebase API, Google APIs. Okay. So for Firebase admin related some uh, dependency is there that we have to add it. Okay. Uh, group ID com dot Google dot Firebase and this is Firebase admin. Here we have to use version. Which version I am going to use? I am going to use 8.1.0. Okay, so this is the version. The moment I save this file, it is going to download the libraries required for it. Okay, so that is one step uh, after creation of our Spring Boot project. If you want to connect to Firebase and we have to use the Google specific Firebase admin APIs, so we have to add the dependency for it. Next, whatever the JSON file we loaded, we downloaded by generating the private key, right? That we have to add it in our uh, class path, okay? Otherwise, we can load it from anywhere, okay? But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in the class path. In the resources section i'm going to create a folder config okay let me create a folder config in config folder i'm going to copy that file this is the file i have generated right okay i'll copy this I'll go there to my project and paste it. Okay. So this is all about uh, setting up your project, setting up Spring Boot project uh, to use uh, Firebase uh, to integrate with Firebase database. Okay. If you open this project, right? Anyways, I'm going to delete this project after this video in my Firebase. But this is the if you see this, uh, this is the uh, auth authentication URL. And if you see this, this is the private key ID. All these things which are there uh, to connect to your database, right? All of them are there here. Okay. So the moment you load this file while connecting to the database, all these details will be fetched from this JSON file and will be used to connect to the Firebase database while we are making a connection object to Firebase. Okay, that's all about uh, uh, setting up a Spring Boot project and setting up a Firebase project. In the next video, we will uh, talk about how to create the connection object and how to insert the records into the Spring Boot, uh, into the Firebase uh, database. And we will create a collection and we will insert a record also. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.